This is Bilal Randri. I'm at the TED Global Conference in Edinburgh, Scotland, uh, with Julia Basha, who is the director of um, uh, Budrus. Can you tell us more about the movie? Budrus is the name of a Palestinian village in the West Bank that launched a successful non-violent resistance campaign against the Israeli separation barrier in 2003. This was a story that has inspired communities across the West Bank to also adopt nonviolent resistance. And not only in the West Bank, but also East Jerusalem neighborhoods like Sheikh Jarrah and Silwan. And one of the works that we are trying to do at Just Vision, the organization I work for, is to get the media to cover those stories of nonviolent resistance, since we have been for decades being fed only violent resistance stories and not actually the people on the ground who are struggling together to try to end the occupation and build peace in the region using nonviolence. Why do you think uh, stories of nonviolence like this, which are so important, aren't being getting the, the media coverage they, they need to get? I believe there are several reasons. Um, I think one of them is uh, a sense of uh, um, if it bleeds, it leads, that is very pervasive uh, in uh, the conventional media. It's a belief that the audiences are only interested in sensationalist news. Uh, there's also um, a, a sort of fundamental nature of nonviolence that sometimes makes it hard for it to be covered on the 24 hour news cycle. And that is that nonviolence is not a glamorous uh, one day event. Uh, it's something that sometimes takes a long time. Uh, it's, it's not uh, so easily captured in one moment. Uh, journalists would often have to return after a few months to check what happened in this community after they have been using nonviolence. And our 24-hour news cycle does not allow for that kind of patient. As you probably know, investigative journalism has been losing most of its budget uh, in, in big media companies. And so more and more, we are being fed the quick and easy uh, media coverage of the Middle East and not the in-depth coverage that we would need to actually be able to further a solution. And um, the, the film, how is it being uh, received uh, worldwide? Where are you, you know, getting it screened? And what are you hoping that you know, uh, the film will achieve in the long run? Mm -hmm. We've had a phenomenal run with the film worldwide. Uh, we first started in the film festival circuit. We won one of the audience awards at the Berlin International Film Festival. We wore the red carpet gala screening at the Dubai Film Festival. One day was Avatar, the next day was Budrus. We won uh, awards at the Tribeca Film Festival, the San Francisco Film Festival, the Jerusalem Film Festival. We were really all over the world. Uh, and then we screened theatrical in cinemas across the United States, the UK, in Germany and the cinematheques across Israel and in community groups, refugee camps and universities across Palestine. Uh, we believe that there is a, um, a, a hunger of audiences, no matter what their nationality, for these stories. And so the biggest reaction we've had anywhere we went was, why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? And that's the point. We want to make sure that you don't need to wait for seven years for a documentary to come out to hear about extraordinary stories like Budur's. Well, all the best, um, uh, and we hope to hear from you again in the future. Thank you.